What's up Chemical Guys family? It's Monday Memorial Day and we're continuing the detail on this Land Rover Defender. In the last video you saw that we polished it to restore this deep olive green that it has on the vehicle, removing that chalky milky look that it had and the owner, that's all he wanted us to do. He just wanted us to make it you know, back to his former glory, bring back some of that paint. But uh, after looking at it, the wheels, they kind of look kind of dead now. So we want to you know, help enhance the overall look of the vehicle. So that's why we're going to show you guys how to properly clean it, just using a couple brushes and some orange degreaser. Now to begin any regular detail, we would obviously start with the wheels, but since we were jumping right on the body, we got so excited, so eager, we moved right onto the body first. But with regular detailing, you want to start with the dirtiest area, which is the wheels. And this is obviously no exception. From sitting outside and just being a general use vehicle, you see that it's got caked up years of kind of baked on brown mud and whatever kind of other road filth that could be on there. So we need to start by rinsing it down to loosen up any of the surface dirt, any brake dust, anything that's on there. And then we're going to gently scrub it using some orange degreaser and a couple brushes. Whoa, mama. You can also use this to clean your wheel wells, help break down any of the grime and asphalt any kind of tar and bugs that might be building up in there. Now we can move on to the actual detailing process. Now in the bucket here I have three brushes and a little bit of Diablo wheel gel to help me one loosen up anything that's on the surface to add a little bit of cleaning power but this also acts as a lubrication process so that we're not scratching the very sensitive finish on the wheel. A lot of people thought these were matte or that the surface of the vehicle was matte but in reality it's actually just because of years of oxidation have caused it to give it that kind of chalky look. So, so what we're going to do now is just spray the orange degreaser onto the surface and this has been diluted six to one so this is going to help gently loosen up the dirt, anything that's on the surface. I doubt these are dressed but anything that could be on the wheel will give it a moment to kind of sit there and saturate but you can see it's already browning which is removing anything that's on the surface of the tire here and to help it agitate, we'll just use our Nifty brush, which has a medium duty bristle. This will help you gently agitate any kind of cleaner, whether you're working on wheels, tires, uh, your carpet maybe. It's a great way to also get in between the nubs of these tires because it's a very nubby tire. Reveal a fresh look. Starting at the top and working our way around, you can go clockwise or counterclockwise, but you wanna start at the highest point first. This way you're not bringing dirt into areas you've already cleaned. Now since these wheels are so old and also so dirty, we may need to rinse it and clean it again. So that's what I'm going to do now is just rinse it down to one, check my work and also to make sure that we're getting as much of this off and making sure that the cleaner doesn't sit there and dry onto the surface. So again, we'll just rinse it down then we can continue with the wheel detailing process. So just by looking at it, we can tell that the wheel is fairly clean. And we're going to move on to the actual rim or the wheel. And we're going to use a green flag tip brush, which is a very soft bristle. But it's also going to cover a lot of surface area because this wheel doesn't have a lot of intricate design or anything really that would get a, a lot of brake dust trapped inside of there. So we're just going to work our way again from top to bottom. And now we're using the Diablo wheel gel, which is safe for any kind of wheel finish to help us loosen up stubborn staining or anything that can be sitting on the surface so that it doesn't deteriorate the finish. Periodically going back to the bucket, which we also have a dirt trap in to help reduce the chances of bringing contaminants back onto the surface. Just keep on cleaning. And just as a final touch, we use a boar's hair brush to get between the valve stem or the lug nuts or any of the harder to reach areas that you might have on your regular wheels, like the weights. You can clean this up using a very soft bristle brush such as this. It's also great for detailing calipers or again if you have ornate wheels that have a lot of different kind of design or some kind of crevices that you need a smaller brush to work it way around. And now we're ready to rinse it off, dry it, and move on to the next three wheels. But in the meantime you guys can check out these products on our website chemicalguys.com. Thanks for tuning in on this Memorial Day and also thanks so much for all of our active and non-active military men and women out there. We just want to say Thanks so much for your service. And for the rest of us, thanks for tuning in and happy detailing.